According to the latest whispers vibrating through the World Wide Web, Amazon's upcoming Silk Spider Society has cleaned out its writer's room in service of massive from-the-ground-up retooling of the series' entire creative direction. Produced by Sony Pictures Television in partnership with Amazon MGM, the series is set to follow the story of one Sydney Moon, a young woman with her own set of spider powers who, per the series' official logline, escapes imprisonment and searches for her missing family on her way to becoming the superhero Silk. Notably, while the heroine's entire existence being solely tied to that of Spider-Man, she receives her powers from the very same radioactive arachnid which results in her origin and freed from her underground prison thanks to his help. Whether or not the project will either establish a connection to or feature an appearance from the web slinger is currently unknown. This is due to the fact that Sony, whose television division is in charge of the series, shares the film and television rights to Spider-Man with Marvel Studios. As such, any use of the web slinger is dependent on some level of agreement between the two, as seen with all of his appearances in Marvel Cinematic Universe proper. And whether or not one has been reached in regards to Silk Spider Society has yet to be confirmed or denied. Though it's first entered full production in November of 2022, the onset of the 2023 Writers Guild of America strike resulted in the series being put on indefinite hold until the labor dispute eventually came to a close in September of 2023. Following the strike's conclusion, the Silk Spider Society's writer room had been looking to get back into the saddle sometime in mid to late January of 2023. However, if recent report from the entertainment news outlets The Ankler is to believe these plans for the writer's returns has instead turned into plans for a complete project restart. Relaying the information provided to her by a supposed source, staff writer Elaine Lowe alleged that not only had the series recently let go of its entire writer's room, minus its showrunner Angela Kang and one of the co-executive producers, despite them having already written several episodes, but that is also being refocused with a more male-skewing audience in mind and similarities to such works as Reacher, Jack Ryan, and The Terminal List, all three of which have been some of Amazon's most popular streaming offerings. When reached by Lowe, Amazon had offered no comment on her scoop. Alongside Silk Spider Society, Lowe reports that Amazon is also making moves on their previously announced Spider-Man Noir series, having entered negotiations with the heroes Into the Spider-Verse voice actor Nicolas Cage to reprise the role in live action. Further, these two series are only two of the multiple live-action Spider-Man spin-offs currently in the works at Amazon, though at this time the company is keeping the identities of their other projects tightly under wraps. Now, as someone who doesn't read really any comic books post-2010, 2014, I have no idea who Silk is. Uh, Silk was apparently created in 2014, I, I guess during that big wave of characters who were created as just clear ripoffs of original characters just made into women and minorities and all that kind of stuff. So I, I don't really have any dog or fight in this argument over what they do with the character. But the only thing that I will say is just focus on making a solid superhero TV series. Don't do anything that messes up, that focuses on race, sex, or religion, unless it actually is like a core tenet to the driving force of the character. Just, you know, give people an hour-long episode that makes them forget about the world. You don't have to do a female version of Reacher or Terminal List or Jack Ryan. Just do a superhero show. You know, people want Daredevil, like Netflix is Daredevil. Make scenes feel gritty and dark and realistic to a degree that actually can work in a superhero story. And just don't shit on anybody. It's so simple. It's an easy formula. We, we used to be able to make stories like this a hundred times over. Also, if this is a character that can't work without Spider-Man, then don't do it. Uh, Morbius needed Spider-Man. Madam Web needed an introduction film with Spider-Man before doing an origin story. And Venom, you know, well, he's special. People like Venom and people like Tom Hardy. It was a big win-win across the board. But outside of that, you guys have a good one. Bye.